so the truth remains calm. Should the tables turn, they can always make good their escape. Hyenas can't climb trees, and lions are too heavy to reach the highest branches. But there's one predator they can't so easily elude. The leopard. Dangerous and devious. This formidable hunter and agile tree climber is the greatest threat to a baboon's life. Especially a baby's. his favorite hunting ground. Keeping the baboon safe is the job of the alpha male. At the first sign of danger, he sounds the alarm. Others join in. Nima and the rest of the troop heed the wind. The leopard is aware that he's been spotted, but ascends nonetheless. The alpha male tracks him up the tree. But today, this sleek assassin isn't interested in baboons. His pantry is already full. An antelope he stashed earlier. On the ground, he risks losing his kill to lions and hyenas. Up here, he can eat in peace and come and go as he pleases. The leopard might have a kill, but as their number one predator, the baboon adult life. Without the chance to learn these skills, Makupa is at a big disadvantage. Like all mothers, Nima will do anything for him. But she can't give him friends. All she can do is try to protect him. In the higher echelons of baboon society, life is a whole lot easier. This baby, Prince, is the youngest member of a high-ranking family. He has little to worry about, at least from the other baboons. Few would dare to kill him primates, but the reason is not completely clear. It could be to gain experience mothering, or it could be competition among females. What is known is that the lower rank the baby, the more rough handling it must endure. While the adult females bully Makupa, his peers ignore him. No one wants to mix with the lowest of the low. As the other youngsters make friends and play, Makuba watches in the wings, 